you know, the industry just was kind of different. And I just kind of, you need a break. You know what I mean? I was shooting pretty much almost every single day for like six years straight. Yeah. And you know, even as fun as it is, you just you need a break for like self care mm-hmm. and all of that. So I kind of took a break for a while, and then I briefly came back for a little bit, and then now I'm just kind of on some super domestic thing. <laughs> I can't even believe it myself, to be honest. Yeah, you said that you you were cleaning all day before you came in. It's like I went from oh. Super rock and roll to like baking quiches and taking my dogs on walks like i'm drinking kombuchas (laughs) my poop floats now (laughs) like we went from you know me freaking out about oh my god you blew the line everywhere to like oh my god my meatloaf's burnt like (laughs) wow it's tr- it's trippy i guess that's me entering my mid-30s and like i don't know you just you slow you calm down a little bit yeah <laughs> like a lot i don't for me i guess i was so extreme before so now it's like i'm going the other way i'm not mad at it though i'm still a little wild i have my moments <laughs> yeah i feel like the, the christina rose we all know and love is still in there oh no it's still there it's definitely there i just channeling things a little bit differently <laughs> yeah you moved you just moved in with your boyfriend right i did yeah that's interesting <laughs> is this the fir- this isn't the first time you've lived with a guy is it this is the first time I've lived with the man. Before, I've lived with suitcase pimp boyfriends. Mm. So there's a little bit of a difference there uh, in the dynamics. But it's definitely different from me. Live- I've always lived by myself, and I always rule the roost kind of thing. And now I'm, like, moving in with my boyfriend, and he's more like an actual man because mm. he has a job and a career and things, <laughs> and things situated and doesn't have a drug problem or anything like that. So... It's 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 different. Like mo- moving in with anyone is an adjustment as it is, yes. but it's it's definitely a fun challenge. <laughs> I love it. I love this new domestic Christina. That's awesome. So, are you still but you're like still shooting for yourself. You're doing content for Yeah, I'm doing content for myself. Um I do like OnlyFans and um I'm going to be starting to do a podcast cuz I've had a lot of people over the years ask me to do that. Um so I'm going to try it out in my free time and see how that goes and I also paint too. I'm trying to get an art show together and oh, that's do amazing. that. Yeah, I was pres- pressuring myself too much last year to like hurry up and finish these paintings, and you need this many more. To- mm-hmm. But now I'm kind of doing it more on a relaxed thing, which is working a little bit better, I think. But yeah, hopefully in the spring I'm going to be doing a show. What kind of paint? What kind of art do you do? I do. I paint with watercolors. Okay. Yeah, I've been painting for a long time. I started painting when I was 18, and I kind of put it to the side when I was shooting a lot. I didn't really have time. And then once I stopped shooting so much, I kind of took a break from, I had time to get back into painting and I really enjoyed it. And I've just kind of got better without even painting Mm -hmm. over the years. I don't know, maybe life experience makes your painting deeper. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I started doing that and I just playing around with that a little bit and trying to put together this podcast. So what kind of stuff do you paint? I'm just I'm just trying to picture like what it is um, that you do. I might have some stuff on my phone. Uh, I paint I've been painting a lot of portraits. Okay. Um I usually start from an image and then I'll paint that like I don't know, just I've been painting people, I guess, that are have been iconic to me in my mm-hmm. life throughout growing up. It's funny that there's this like a uh, movie or whatever about Lorena Bobbitt because I had just finished a painting of her like a, about a year ago. Oh wow! I've always been very fascinated with L- Lorena Bobbitt. June twenty third, nineteen ninety three. Saint, we're shit. <laughs> are worth three weeks in a mental institution for evaluation and then freedom that's how much your dick is worth (laughs) is that so that's all she got yeah wow that's all she had to do i painted a really sick picture of dennis rodman um i painted a picture of patsy klein a lot a lot of celebrities Mm -hmm. um i painted pictures phil specter just different people that i guess 
touched my mind in some way. Mm -hmm. And now I'm starting to do um, more things that I've actually hand drawn. So I'm starting from images that I've drawn on my own. And it's a lot of some boobs and stuff. (laughs) Like abstract some boobs and vaginas. I guess that's the last decade of my life speaking out through my art. But it's coming together pretty well. So... Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.